Okay, oh god. Sorry, I'm kind of multitasking here. Yes, yes. Go away. Alright, so this finished. It says system.img sent successfully, and that means you're good. You just restored your device, you unbricked it, you unbooted it, and it should automatically reboot right now. On your device, it'll say device update successful, and then it'll turn on. Um, depending on which version you download, it depends on what version firmware to be running. But most likely, after you turn it on and after you recover everything, you're going to want to do the firmware update uh, to get it all up to date and stuff like that. So, in a second here, I will just show you my transformer to prove that it is um, restored. So let me go to my webcam here. that start up. Um, are you going to start up or am I going to have to do something to make you start? Uh, oh, okay, um, thank you. Anyway, I'm not going to show you because my computer decided to be a big fat dummy. Um, but anyway, when you start it up, it's going to be like you just opened it up for the first time, it's going to say welcome, pick your language, uh, then it's going to ask you your input method, your Wi-Fi, all that stuff. So if you've made it this far and you've had no problems, congratulations, you've unrooted or unbricked your device. Um, hopefully not unbricked, but if you do manage to screw it up, hey, this is an easy way to fix it. Um, you just lose some of your data if you can't back it up. Um, so thank you very much for watching this. Uh, if you liked this series, which this should be the last video of the series, uh, please give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe, um, and thank you again for watching, just show your support. Um, Alright, see you soon. Hello YouTube, um, if you're watching this, it means one of two things. One, you've decided uh, you don't want your device rooted anymore and you feel like I'm ruining it. Or two, you've somehow managed to brick it and you need to recover your um, original Transformer software. Um, the good news is... Uh, this is very easy and it works for both of those. The bad news is it wipes all of user data. Um, so if your tablet is not bricked, which means you can turn it on and can access it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create um, a file of your entire internal memory on your computer. Just drag it over and I'll have mine in there. I have it in here. So here, internal storage backup, I have all of my internal files. You're also going to want to use your app backup application and backup all of the apps and data. And make sure you save that to your micro SD because again the internal memory gets wiped. Alright, so once you've completely backed up your tablet, if you can, um, you're going to go into the rooting and unrooting kit that I will have up. Um, I should have it up before this is released. Um, if not, then hopefully soon after um, but anyway you go into there and you go into your unrooting one in your unrooting will be a file called windows and it'll have this in it if you didn't get my kit or if you do not have a windows or your transformer is not us you're gonna go to this website which I will include in the description this website has downloads and it also has uh, instructions written out um, I wouldn't recommend getting the newest version here because for some reason there's no download.bat file which is necessary. So you're just going to come into the second one. Uh, if it's US, Linux, or Windows, you get it here. Uh, you have to register. Or if you're worldwide, which is anything else, you do these two. Um, if you have a Mac, you can't do this, just like I believe you can't uh, root it to begin with, so you're going to have to borrow your friend's Windows laptop or something like that. Alright, after you get this downloaded, what you're going to do is, you can actually show this, but on your tablet, I believe you have to go into APX mode for this to work. So what you're going to do is you're going to power down your tablet. Just hold on while I do this real quick. And after you power it down, you're going to plug it in, and immediately after you plug it in, you're going to hold down the power button and the volume up until your computer makes a few noises. It should take about 10 seconds. So right now, I'm just going to plug it in. 
and that's plugged in. You're going to hold down the power and the volume up button. Uh, the screen should turn on, and then after a few seconds turn off, and there, if you heard that, hold it for a second or two more, and you should now be in APX mode. Now what you're going to do is go to your start menu, go to devices and printers, and then make sure there's an APX right here. And that is your AC's transformer right now in recovered mode. You're going to double click that, go to hardware, go to properties, you're going to go to driver, and you're going to hit update driver. Now you're going to browse your computer, and you're going to find the browser. Mine's already installed, but uh, I'll do this anyway. So you're going to go to under, if it's your desktop, go to desktop, windows, then you're going to click on USB PC driver, hit OK. Make sure this box is checked, and then hit next. Uh, mine's already installed, so I don't need that. Um, but you do if you haven't unrooted before. And now you're going to close this out, and close this out, and you're going to close this out, and you're going to open this up. And this is the last thing you do. You come into here, you go to your download.bat, and you run that. It's going to have all these fancy words on it. Your tablet should light up, and right now there should be two lines. Uh, one saying enter in NV flash recovery mode, the other saying your chip um, ID. This process should take a, about a minute or two. If it takes any longer, something's wrong. If uh, it says like error before this, that means you probably have to try reinstalling your drivers, um, or you have to make sure your tablet is in APX mode. So I'm just going to wait here. Um, this does take a little bit of time because it is um, completely wiping your firmware and it's reinstalling the um, stock firmware for it. So here we go, It's right now it's sending it, sending this file, sending this file, and this is the big one right here, this is your firmware that it's sending, it should take another 10 seconds. Sorry, I read that wrong. It should take another minute or two. I'll be right back when this is done.